Okay, Becky, can you tell me a little bit about the Puffin Island Cruises? The Puffin Island Cruises uh, have been in their third year now, and it's a part of the RSPB's Arnbird Brilliant Events. Uh, there are eight of these events in Wales, 2007, 64 across the whole of the UK this year. The Artbirds Brilliant events are really a way of encouraging people to come out and about, see wildlife, experience it at first hand, and also for local people to see what's on their doorstep and enjoy it. And uh, what sort of birds and animals would you expect to see while on the cruise? As you approach Puffin Island, you're likely to see black guillemots, cormorants, possibly eider ducks, and also diving terns, in particular sandwich terns. And there are thousands of common guillemots and razor bills, cormorants, shags, fulmar, and kittiwake. And there's also, of course, some puffins. Puffins are now breeding again on Puffin Island now that the rats have been eradicated. We have seen some harbour porpoise on one of the trips. Um, occasionally, uh, there are common dolphins found as well, diving and playing around the island. And we also see grey seals basking out on the rocks. Becky, can you tell me a little bit about how climate change is altering the, the whole scenario here? It's been uh, found that the sea, ha sea levels have risen by about one degree centigrade in the last 25 years. And this is causing effects all the way through the food chain. So the blooms of plankton are now occurring at different times and different places uh, around the coast at different times of the year. This is having effects on the food, the, f the fish that feed on the plankton. So when it comes to the seabirds that eat the fish, when they come to breed, they haven't got enough energy or fat resources to take them through the breeding season. Those that are fit enough are struggling to feed the chicks with enough food, sand eels in particular being one of the problems. And I think as a result the RSPB would like to see greater protection afforded to the marine areas around Anglesey and elsewhere. At the moment, on land, there's a lot of land that's been protected from sites of special scientific interest to nature reserves and special areas of conservation. But around our coasts, none of the coasts or marine wildlife is protected at all. So at the moment, the RSPB are trying to um, encourage the government to create a marine bill that will offer protection to various sites around the UK coasts that will hopefully uh, have people to be responsible for any chemical or oil spills and litter that can cause drowning to the birds and also overfishing as well.